would just say, you know, coming in, just being aggressive. Coach, um, in this week's uh, prep, we've been talking about hitting singles and not trying to do too much, not trying to make home run plays, just do the simple things better. And uh, I think that's the key to why I was uh, able to hit a few shots today and get in a good rhythm. Yeah, for sure. Um, we just talked about in the locker room as well. Um, just this week, uh, really this whole summer, we've been talking about playing with force and getting to the rim and not settling for shots like we have in the past. And I think it's starting to translate. We've done a lot of uh, drills and prep work and practice. And even in our live scrimmages, we've been doing it. So it's been, uh, it's paying off for and, sure. Um, having those guys being so versatile and being able to, to find us guards almost as much as we find them really. And uh, it's definitely helped. It makes us it makes our team so versatile and so deep that it's it's hard to just key in on one point of our offense. Yeah, it does. I definitely think um, it makes guys have to respect our, our our offense off the bounce. You know, a lot of teams probably would come in saying we're more of a three point shooting team, but now we're playing with more force and getting to the rim. So it makes them have to respect us dribbling and attacking the rim because that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to play inside out. If we can get the ball, we what we say paint touches. We get the ball in the paint first and. Those are the threes we want. We want kick out threes, not just settling for threes. Um, I think, you know, pretty good effort for 40 minutes by our team. I thought that it was going to be really, really critical that we're able to guard the bounce first USA, USC Upstate. They came in here last year and really, really put some problems and stress on our defense just with their dribble penetration. And um, I thought that was critical tonight that we, we make sure that we're have tight gaps and that we're active on the ball and kind of shrink the floor. And um, I thought we did a pretty good job of that. You know, weren't really clean early offensively, just turning the ball over way too much. And I think we had 10 turnovers in the first 10 minutes of the game. And but fortunately, our saving grace was we, we were really sitting down and we were making it really hard for them to score because we could have been down a really good margin had we had we not been defending. And um, once we settled in, started valuing the ball a little bit, I think, I think we started the game with 10 turnovers in the first 10 minutes and then we finished with 10 in the last 30. It was, it was much better. And, um, you know, I think our depth continues to show that, that we're, we're going to be able to play a few more guys. We're going to be able to push the pace a little bit more. And uh, the more experience they get, the better they're going to get. And so it was nice to play 10 out there today and uh, get a lot of guys in. We're able to enjoy some early foul trouble with, you know, Noah, Alex, and Mike. And I uh, really didn't have to touch a whole lot. So proud of our defensive effort. I thought our, our second half, you know, offensively, we got, we got a little bit sharper. I think that was our best shooting half of the four so far. This team can shoot the ball, but the best thing right now is they're also driving the ball. And um, I'm hoping we can keep that balance and taking great threes, making sure we're playing through space, um, but we can't, we can't turn the ball 20, 20 uh, we can't turn it over 20 times and expect to play uh, well doing that consistently. So we got to take care of the ball better. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those things that really we evaluated this off season of an area of growth for our program. And, and, and also it's a little bit personnel based you know, with, with Mike's ability to really play downhill, you know, if we could, we, we want to continue to push Alex to play a little bit more aggressive. And then, and then, you know, having Joe Anderson that can push tempo at the point spot, Marcus Foster can really drive the ball well. And, and it's just an emphasis that we put on ever since we got back in late July. We just want to play the game with more force. And, um, you know, hip leverage being lower, making sure we're driving, you know, our dribbles having force. It was just when we went back and watched last year, I didn't think we attacked the, the paint hard enough via the dribble. And so well, Noah turned it over more than we would like tonight, more than he would like tonight. But right. Noah's play really, have really reduced their turnovers in practice. And um, the ball's been moving. We've been attacking closeouts. And so I think it's getting to the rim a little bit easier. And, and you know, we'll see how the season evolves. I do think we're a really good shooting team, but we want a good balance. You know, getting to the free throw line, getting good clean layups via cutting and then open threes. So those, are, those are our favorite type of shots. Um, it, it's it's one of those deals, Scott, where you, you got to take the good with the bad. You got to figure out what do we do well, what what do we have to improve on, you know, to score ninety one and then to hold hold a team to sixty three. Yeah. Obviously, there was more good in that than bad, but it's only two games in, and um, I don't think we're anything close to finished product. And I just told the team that, you know, I think our depth is brand new in a lot of ways, and even you know we played we played five guys off the bench tonight. Okay, four of them. It's only their second college basketball game. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to be a little bit of a work in progress with our depth, but our depth is good enough. And as they get better, you know, and as they get to January and they're more comfortable, it's going to be fun. But tonight, Scott, it was, it was, it was silly turnovers, you know, just, just not playing clean offensively those first 10 minutes. And then and we, had, we had a couple passive plays on handoffs and ball screens in the second half when it got to, you know, 17, 18. I thought we kind of dipped a little bit 
defensively. But when you get a lead like that, it's really hard. What I like tonight, I thought that was one of Alex Hunter's best games of his career. I think he obviously played really aggressive. I thought he shot the ball great. Uh, he's been shooting the ball. He's been our best shooter in, in preseason analytics, and he's been absolutely just shooting the cover off the ball. And I loved his temperament. I loved how he handled the full court pressure. The best thing he did, though, when they cut it to 14 and I took that last time out, he took it. And uh, before I could get to the team, he said, hey, come here. And I didn't even step in there. I trusted him, and I knew he had it. I knew, I knew he knew what we needed to do, and I just let him fix it. And then we go from a 14-point margin to a 28-point margin from that point. And, and, and that, that, was, that was the proudest moment for me as a coach to see Alex take that in a player-led leadership moment and to make sure that we finish the game the right way. Because, hey, the last two, the last two years we played this game, I mean, give them credit. They battled and they played us hard. And, you know, two years ago we were, what, down six and a half. And then last year they cut it to one, you know, late in the game. And so it's a scrappy team. They got everybody back from last year. And, um, you know, we, we had to make sure we finished well. Unfortunately, we did. They're, they're, they're both doing great with their decision making from the high post and the dribble ats. And um, Slauson's gotten really, <laughs> and so it's gotten to a point where we've been able to let those guys go and transition a little bit too, just because of the job they're doing. So tonight you saw Slauson push the break a few times. Uh, Wednesday night, Noah pushed the break one time. We got the three off the flip. And so, you know, they're getting more comfortable with the offense. They're getting more comfortable with the reads. slauson has been doing this all fall. I mean, in terms of just creating offense, and, um, and, and creating action via the dribble on the perimeter and through space and making the reads on the hand cut back cuts. He's been doing it all, all fall. And so we knew that was gonna really show up his comfort in the offense and um, his, his, his ability for it to slow down a little bit and see the reads. It's really started to take form. And uh, when we do it well without turning the ball over, it looks pretty good. That's exactly right. That's what Mike does. Mike, Mike is a bucket and um, you know, we'd known that. I felt bad all last year, I thought, not that Mike necessarily got the raw deal, but, you know, we did have six worthy starters and, um, you know, it was just one of those, it was, it was hard. And so, you know, it's, it's been nice to be able to see him be able to evolve into this role. He's just a gamer and, and he's just got great pace and great feel. He can score it around the basket. He's a great shooter. He's a heck of a decision maker. I mean, the decision and transition on the lob to Slauson, that's such a tough play because it looks like that it's the easy play is to throw it to Clay. He takes a peek, he sees Slaw trail unguarded and he throws it up a little higher. It just, his feel is just fun to watch. And, and he plays with poise and uh, he, he's going to be really, really good. And you know, he really is. I mean, he's, you look at him, I guess he's led us in scoring the past two games, correct? And, um, you know, we're going to let him go. And, you know, that's why we're playing a little bit more wide open. And um, we just got to take care of the ball. We got so many, we got so many guys that can make plays and shots out there. I think that's going to be the gift of this team is our humility and, and just let that ball talk, let, let the ball find the open guy and just play as one, um, you know, because, because on certain nights, right, it's going to be Mike. Then, I mean, we know Noah hadn't played his best game yet. We just wait till he gets going. And, and, you know, so it's one of those situations where it tonight it was Alex and Mike and both of them are really, really good. Right. And, and the next night it could be, it could be Noah and it could be clay. And, and I think that's the beauty of it. And then we add in this depth, I think it gives us a chance to be a complete team.